Very cool. All right, guys, this is part 12 of Wish Tree. And today we are on chapter 42. And if you remember, um, in the last few days that we have been reading, Red has been telling a story to uh, Samar and Stephen. And then Samar and Stephen came out yesterday, came out and they went to walk to school together. And it looks like today is wishing day. So chapter 42. I didn't have much time to mull over my mistake. We had a steady stream of visitors as the hours passed. Early wish makers came throughout the day. A little girl who wanted 20 hamsters. The grocer down the street, hoping for a summer of sweet peaches. The usual. A local reporter returned. She peeped at some of the new wishes hanging from my boughs and took a photo of the broken eggshells on my trunk. Sandy and Max came to remove the police tape surrounding me. Francisca joined them. Today, she had Lewis and Clark on thin leather leashes. Each cat was wearing an embarrassing sparkly harness. Oh, so yeah, there's the cat, Lewis and Clark. Francesca discussed the broken eggs with Sandy and Max while Lewis and Clark wove around her legs. I've got a tree cutter coming out later to give me an estimate, Francesca said. So you're definitely cutting it down? Sandy asked in what I would like to think was a disappointed voice. Yep, no question. See all that muck, all that water in the yard? Francesca pointed at the soggy lawn. Plumber told me this dang tree is plugging up some of the pipes. The least bit of rain and the yard turns into a giant mud puddle. Still, people are gonna be sorry to see it go, Max said. He reached for Clark's leash and tried to unwrap Francesca. I know, it's a good old tree, but sentiment doesn't pay the plumber. Sandy grabbed Lewis while Francesca attempted to unknot herself from the leashes. What about the animals and birds that live in the tree? She asked. Ah, that's where I'm using the old noggin, Francesca said. Every year the possums and owls and such vacate the premises on wishing day. It's the strangest thing. It's like they know what's coming. She hopped over the web of leashes. Suppose they don't like being disturbed. In any case, I'm hoping the cutters will come late tomorrow afternoon. Most of the wishing will be done by then. What will you do with all the wishes? Sandy asked. Put them in the trash can when no one's looking. That's what I do every year. Whole thing's nonsense anyway. Matt and Sandy looked at me sympathetically. I know, I know, I don't have a sentimental bone in my body. Francesca paused to address the cats, who were yanking her in opposite directions. If dogs can do this, why is it such a challenge for you two? She turned her attention back to the police. But it's time, more than time. Well, we're gonna swing by tomorrow, keep an eye on things. No lead on the person who carved that word, but with these eggs, and people just generally all riled up. We're gonna get it cut down. It can't hurt to keep an eye on it. Oh wait, no, that's the cops, hold on. But with the eggs and people just generally riled and the cut down, Sandy shrugged. Couldn't hurt to have us keep an eye on things. Well, thank you, Francesca said. Not necessary, but I appreciate it. Lewis and Clark caught a glimpse of Bongo and lunged from my trunk. Whoa, you crazy felines, Francesca cried, reining them in. They hissed at Bongo. She spread her wings menacingly and let out her most ferocious, ah! Lewis and Clark retreated for the safety of Francesca's arms. Once again, she was a tangled knot of leashes and cats. Sandy smiled. Maybe leave the cats home tomorrow, Francesca. Chapter 43. That afternoon, I met my executioners. Not having teeth, I've never really understood the fear some people seem to have of dentists. I've overheard conversations where the words root canal and cavity were used, but in tree world, those have entirely different meanings. After seeing the tree cutters and their equipment, I understood. When a truck carrying powerful chainsaws, along with something 
ominously called a stump grinder, shows up, well, you know you're in trouble. Mind you, an arborist is a great friend to trees. We need our limbs trimmed just the way you need to cut your fingernails and hair. Although for us, it's only once or twice a year and it's called pruning. I always feel especially elegant after a good pruning. But pruning is usually done with special shears that look like giant scissors or with a small saw on a long pole. Stump grinders are generally not part of the plan. It didn't help when three men wearing orange hard hats went to Francesca's door and announced that they were, tim they were from Timber Terminator's tree service. I'm gonna make a deposit on those silly hats, Bongo muttered. No, Bongo, I said, although I'm sure his idea was, I'm sure the idea was tempting. Let's wait and see what happens. Maybe they're just here for some pruning. Red, you really are an optimist. Francesca walked the men over, this time without Lewis and Clark, and they discussed costs and timing. That's right, they talked about cutting me down. Even as they enjoyed the shade from my lovely limbs. Talk about insensitive. One of the men, he introduced himself as Dave, climbed a ladder to inspect my hollows. Agnes, Harry Spiders, and Big U eyed him warily, ready to defend their babies. You've got some critters in here, ma'am, he reported. Yes, yes, I know, Francesca said. Every year like clockwork. Bonga flew up to a spot near Agnes. Just one deposit, she said under her breath. That's all I'm asking. Situation like this, we generally advise cutting in late fall, less likely to disturb any nests. I've got that covered, Francesca nodded, hands on hips. Animals and birds hightail it out of here every May 1st. Wishing day, you know. Daddy, Dave scratched his stubby chin. Wishing day? People make wishes, put them on the tree. Animals and birds don't like all the noise. If you could do this tomorrow afternoon, the timing would be perfect. You work on Saturdays? Sure do. Dave shook his head. Wishing day, he murmured. Now I've heard everything. Francesca nodded. She patted my trunk. Yeah, craziness. Can't believe I've put up with it as long as I have. All right, looks like that's a good place to stop. Yep.